Our next speaker I met about the same time as I met Maverick. She too worked with us in the early years of the Reads Across America campaign, right here at the Sarasota National Cemetery. Not too long after we met, Patriot Plaza was completed and the Patterson Foundation's Legacy of Valor campaign was underway. She co-led the campaign, building partnerships across our region. All right, everybody wants to come be part of this first wave out to Sarasota National Cemetery. Before joining the Patterson Foundation as a Patriot Plaza consultant, she was in active duty service to our country in the United States Army with a dis career distinction of being the first female Army officer to command a U.S. military group in Latin America as the first commander, as the first female commander of the United States military group Guatemala. She has brought her honor, her patriotism, and her inspiration to the very purpose and heart that envelops Patriot Plaza. I'm not sure anyone, there is anyone, who has spent more time on the plaza's pavers sharing stories, smiles, and tears. Please welcome with me my friend, Patriot Plaza consultant with the Patterson Foundation and Sarasota County's 2015 Female Veteran of the Year, Colonel Linda Gould. Thank you so much. Thank you for the honor of providing the keynote commentary today as we celebrate the 10th anniversary year of Patriot Plaza. Over 10 years ago, during the construction of Patriot Plaza, the Patterson Foundation began the year-long Legacy of Valor campaign, which brought over 100 organizations in our community together to collaborate and host over 200 events that honored veterans in some way. These events ranged from concerts to jobs and services fairs all with a focus on honoring veterans in our community. We continue to honor veterans, and we thank them for their service and sacrifice. The overall theme of Patriot Plaza is to honor veterans, inspire patriotism, and embrace freedom. Today and every day, we honor you and your service to our nation. We honor those who have served and are serving. You inspire us to stand together as a community and a nation. United, we are stronger. We hope to inspire those who may serve. And we hope to inspire each one of us to be a good citizen and actively contribute to the betterment of our community. We embrace our freedoms that you maintained for us through your service and sacrifice. This outdoor amphitheater, Patriot Plaza, is a place of peace and reflection and a lasting tribute to veterans and their families. It preserves memory through art and architecture and communicates your stories to future generations. The art throughout Patriot Plaza resonates differently with each one of us, whether it is the nests and eagles nurturing their young to fly out into the world at home at the east entrance, the guardian eagles at the west entrance that guard our heroes in the eternal rest, the mosaic tile of the spires and the mural on the front of the rostrum called Night Today, Here and Away, reminding us that while we are here this morning, many have loved ones serving around the world where perhaps there it is nighttime. Many of us are reminded of our childhood or our own service through the words, photographs, and drawings of the 16 tablets from testimonies, or the documentary photography used in the 49 photos that you will find in the outer ring called Witness to Mission. Patriot Plaza reminds us, or teaches us, always embraces each one of us, and continues to tell your stories. Storytelling is woven through the overall theme of Patriot Plaza. Your stories, the very best stories, come from you. During this 10-year anniversary of Patriot Plaza, I ask you to tell your stories to your family, your friends, your community. We want to listen to your stories, 
to learn and remember and continue to honor you. I'd like to share a story of one veteran with you now. We want to know about that 17-year-old boy who had to get permission from his parents to enter the Army Air Corps, who served as a tail gunner on a B-24 in World War II. He came out of the Army as a staff sergeant, used the GI Bill, went into college, and was commissioned back into the Army as a second lieutenant field artillery officer. Deployed to Korea as a fire support officer in July of 1953, his unit was overrun by six enemy divisions. During the battle, he called in fire on his own position in order to hold the enemy long enough to lead his men from behind enemy lines. For gallantry in combat, he was awarded the Silver Star by General Maxwell Taylor. He made the Army a career and served in Vietnam, becoming a three-war veteran, World War II, Korea, Vietnam. Those who served in Vietnam deserve our gratitude. We thank you for your service, and we bid you welcome home. He went on to serve in the Army for 30 years and raised a family who served their nation and community. His wife was exceptionally proud of her role as homemaker in the truest sense of the word all over the world. His son served in the Air Force as a pilot who, among other roles, flew KC-135 tankers to refuel the SR-71s, and also flew Special Ops C-130s to insert and extract Special Operations personnel. His son-in-law flew T-33s, the A-10 Warthogs, and F-16s, and was awarded the Distinguished Flying Cross for his actions during Desert Storm, the highest award for extraordinary aerial achievement. His younger daughter served over 29 years in the Army, while his older daughter, he liked to say, served in the trenches every day as a teacher for almost 40 years, with most of those years here in Sarasota County. His two grandsons also served with the Sarasota Military, Sarasota Military Academy graduate serving in the Army, while the Sarasota High School graduate served in the U.S. Marine Corps. I learned these stories of a three-war veteran, and specifically the story behind the Silver Star, from letters this man wrote to his wife in 1953 that she kept all these years. But I never heard them in person. I wish that he had shared them with his family or that I had thought to ask. This man was my father, David Crosby Gould, Lieutenant Colonel, U.S. Army, retired. Tell your stories. We want to hear them. For all those who have served and are serving, we are so proud of you and thank you for your service and sacrifice this day and every day. We hope you will share your stories and bring your friends and family to Experience Patriot Plaza, where we honor you while inspiring others and continue to embrace our freedoms. Thank you for your time and attention and for sharing this celebration with us today.